Hi everyone! For this special Moth Night edition of At Home with the Staten Island Children's Museum, we are going to be learning about Luna Moth Life Cycles. Let's begin! The Luna Moth has four stages of its life cycle. Egg, larva or caterpillar, pupa, and adult, also known as imago. After mating, a female lunar moth leaves her eggs on a plant or leaf. She could have up to 200 eggs in total. These eggs hatch in about one week's time and they turn into caterpillars. The lunar moth is in the caterpillar stage for about three to four weeks. Once the three to four weeks come to a close, it will begin to create a cocoon and pupate. This is also called a pupa. The lunar moth will be a pupa for about three weeks time. This normally occurs during warmer climates. After the three weeks time, the lunar moth emerges from the cocoon. An adult lunar moth only lives for about one week's time and they're normally out in the evening and nighttime. Now that you've learned about all the stages of the lunar moth's life cycle, let's create our own lunar moth life cycle wheel. Using the PDF template that we've provided, you'll just need a few additional materials and then you're good to go. Let's review and begin. You'll need to print out the PDF. You'll need a brass fastener. Full disclosure, I actually do not have a brass fastener today, so I'm going to be using a screw, but a brass fastener works best. You'll also need drawing utensils so you could decorate your lunar moth wheel after, and a pair of scissors. Once you've gathered all your materials, you're ready to go. To begin, you're going to print out your PDFs. You should have two sheets. One is the wheel and one is the cover. And you're going to take your scissors and cut them each out. Now that it's cut out, you can take your drawing utensils, it could be markers, paint, crayons, whatever you have, and you could decorate it. This is your time to customize your wheel to your liking. Okay, so now it's customized, everything's colored in. I'm going to take my brass fastener, again, I'm sorry, I'm using a screw, I don't have a fastener in my house. And you're going to lay your top Lunar Moth PDF on top of the actual life cycle wheel. And then using the fastener you're gonna put a little dot and that's your marker to know what is the exact center and this is how you're going to connect your two pieces once both pieces are lined up and you're happy with the placement you're gonna push the fastener through you may want to get a little help from a parent or friend and there you go now that the fasteners through you should see that the wheel can easily spin and you could show each different part of the life cycle all right, that's my finished product. I can't wait to see what kind of lunar life cycle wheels you do, how they come out. This was so much fun. Thank you to the Staten Island Museum for inviting us to collaborate again on Moth Night. Follow us on social media, and thank you again for joining me today. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.